Okay, so um, I want to actually go ahead and draw the other, um, the equinox, because I need to show you some do's and don'ts, okay? So actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I wasn't planning on it, but I think it'd be a good idea. So I'm going to turn off, go to my layers, I'm going to turn off the big box, okay? And I'm going to go to right view. And actually, I'm going to turn off also these small box layers because I really don't need them much right now. Okay, and I'm going to go to my right view. There I am. I'm going to make your equinox layer current. That's 56 degrees. Let's go ahead and make our line in right view only. Okay, I'm about 50 feet over here. And I'm going to rotate that from this source, center of rotation. And I'm going to type minus 56 degrees, minus 56 degrees, press enter, and there's my equinox. Can you tell, if you look at this and your summer lines and your winter lines are sitting there, but somehow your equinox line is too close to this guy or it's too close to the blue lines, there's something wrong. Okay, Remember the equinox, because it's equal, that means this angle should be kind of equal to that angle. Okay, there's some sort of centering with the equinox based on the two extremes, which is the winter, sorry, the summer and the winter. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead for, to ease my confusion right now, I'm going to go to perspective. To ease my confusion, I'm going to turn off the summer sol uh, lines and I'm going to turn off the winter lines and I'm going to turn off my floor. Now I'm going to copy... my equinox line to the front lower and the rear top. Okay, now I can come back and turn on my floor. Okay, and I can turn on my other lines. Okay, can go to right view. Now I still actually want to group this with this stuff. So I'm going to go back and group my equinox lines. Um, let's go to right view and I'm going to say, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to say group. Actually, I'm going to ungroup it all first and I'm going to select cross select. I'm going to say group. Okay, now that's all together, we're good to go. Let's turn on the big box again and I honestly don't need to turn on the small boxes, that's okay. Go to perspective. Okay, and this is my warning to you guys. You guys need to punch in one, two, and three windows, right? If I don't have those windows, then my son is not going to, not my son, the son is not going to um, penetrate the building, right? Makes sense. We all understand this. It's easy to punch a window through this wall. It's easy to punch a window through this roof. It's a little bit difficult to punch a window right at the edge of a box. Okay, it's, it's gonna be very fussy and difficult to make. So this is where you guys actually will need to manipulate where the pedestal sits. Remember somebody asked me earlier, can I put the pedestal anywhere? No. If you put it anywhere, you might be placing it in a spot where your window is right at a corner like this. You can do it. It could be done. I suggest that you try to be a little more strategic about it. Okay? And by the way, when I just moved this right now, um, I was confident in moving it without having it move up and down uh, is because I use my gumball, right? 
because the gumball only follows the red line and the green line and the blue line. It's not going to move in any other direction unless I clicked on the blue to move it up and I'm not, I didn't do that. Okay, so you can, let's take a look in uh, um, right view. You can see here, let me go ahead and go to um, ghosted view real quickly. So do you see how that window is going to cut right through the corner? So I'm going to move my pedestal slightly and I'm going to say, you know what? I want two windows in the front. So I'm going to move it. Make sure you have your ortho on so you don't move it up and down. Okay, and this is possible. This is doable because now my windows are being, I'm going to have two windows in the front wall and only one window on the roof. That will work for me. That will work for me. Let's check it in perspective. Yes, that will work for me, right? And make sure also, by the way, that it's not kind of sitting right there where you're actually puncturing through a wall, a vertical wall. See how my window is like right through a vertical wall? You see that? That's a mess. That is a disaster waiting to happen. Don't do that. Okay. There's another thing that students sometimes run into, and that is when your pedestal location is still inside, you're still indoors, but your sun rays are hitting two walls. Okay, so let me go to um, shaded view here so as not to confuse. Okay, you have a window right here, but the other window is so close to it, it almost looks like a single window. This window is going to be so close to that window, it makes no sense. Not only that, you're going to have to punch a window through here, a window through the belly of the ceiling, and another window through here. I think that's too much. You Make you're, you're, yeah, it's just, it's just it's too fussy. Don't, don't do it. All right. You're all of a sudden creating an Oculus that's going to be focusing several times before it comes through to your pedestal. It's just not very clean. All right. Is it doable? Yes. Is it advisable? No. So I'm going to go back and move my pedestal. Um, and I like to do that in ghosted mode in plan. Okay, and right, maybe right there will be fine. Okay, and I'm going to move it a little bit forward because honestly, I don't want a window to be so close to the edge because I have a roof thickness. So I'm going to move it a little bit forward now. So I'm going to go back to front view. Oh, sorry, top view. And I'm going to move it forward. Okay, let's take a look again. There you go, that works. But here's another caveat, actually. Um, if you're going to be looking at that pedestal while standing in front of it, um, you're close, too close to a wall. There's not enough room to stand here, perhaps. So I'm going to change my mind again. I'm going to move it back. And I'm going to live with the Equinox window being in the roof. Okay, so this requires you moving things back and forth a little bit. You can't just fire and forget, right? You can't just position it once and move on. As an architect, you're going to need to place it once, look at what's around it, look at what it's affecting, look how people can walk around it. Can they see it? Can they not see it? Am I going to end up doing five windows? Is it running through a vertical wall that's perpendicular to the object of the sun rays? All of these things are things that you have to think about. Okay, so I think I will be happy if it sits like that. I have two clear windows in two simple faces and um, I can actually walk around it with comfort. Okay, so I'm gonna call that video there.
Let's go.